I've come up with a really exciting new technique to get a bit more sequencing power out of the BeatStep Pro. So I just wanted to share that with you as well as walk you through the rest of this piece and show you how all of the parts fit together. First up in this is the kick drum. I wanted sort of a muffled sound, so I've um, taken the kick drum, which is just created by the oscillator being pinged by one of the envelope channels from Maths, and just really filtered it down with the wasp filter. It's got a sort of meaty sound to it, which I was really looking for in this piece. Next up is the snare channel. So this is from Basimilar Ceteritis Alta. I'm really enjoying these rim shots at the moment, which are uh, made by just sort of a wave folded, quite harmonic sound with a very short decay time and then just add a little bit of noise in by turning the attack knob back to the left. Here's the pattern those two are playing. Next up is uh, one of the channels on Squid Salon Pool. I wanted something that was a little bit more fluid and didn't stay the same every time that the sequence looped round. So I've got a sample which is made up from a load of other drum samples. And every time that that channel on the squid is triggered, it selects a different one of the samples within the sample to play. You can hear when I trigger that. It's randomly selecting a different hit to play. Here's what that sounds like when it's mixed in with the kick and the snare. If you want to see other ways I'm using the Squid Salon Pool, check out my sampling video. I'll make sure I link that below. I've done a trick for the hi-hat that I'm really excited to show you guys. It's actually sequenced by two channels on the BeatStep Pro. I wanted to mix in a bit of random on that. So on every offbeat, there's a 100% chance that the hi-hat will fire. The second gate, the one I wanted a bit of random in, is going into Pamela's new workout, CV In. I'm using that gate to set the level of another gate, which is firing every four beats. I can then use Pamela's new workout's random skip function to set the probability of that happening. And then both of those signals are coming back in and joining here to fire the same sample. On every off beat, the hi-hat always fires, and on every on beat, it fires about 30% of the time. Really helps to keep things moving. So the next part on this is Fracture. I'm triggering both the tick and trigger inputs for bursts of claps as well as single claps. I'm not modulating the surface, so it's always claps, but I am sending occasional gates from this click sequencer into the reverb for these huge bursts of sound. So you can see how that fits in with the rest of my parts. The next part is these piano chords. I basically played these in using this keyboard, just press record on the Squid Salon Pool, played it, and then press record when I'd finished playing the sequence. The actual piano chords are not at all quantized, which adds something a little bit more human to this. To make sure the sample stays in time, once every four bars, a gate from the Pamela's new workout resets the sample to the beginning of the loop so it can never get out of time. So here's what that sounds like in the context of the rest of the parts. This was all starting to really gel together, but I wanted just something a bit extra in the beat. So I've got plates, going into both the inputs of warps and then into the Make Noise LXD, which you can't really see, it's under here, um, just for one extra percussion hit every bar. So here's what that sounds like. I put a huge amount of reverb on that because I wanted something to just make the space feel massive. 
Here's what that sounds like mixed in with the rest of the beat. At this point I was nearly done. I wanted some vocal chops. So I loaded up a vocal sample into the squid salad pool. It's reversed and then I put high pass filter on it. And then the pitch of that is sequenced by the Beat Step Pro. Here's what the vocal part sounds like on its own. So here's what that sounds like when I bring it in over the backdrop of the rest of the track. So there it is. Uh, let me know any questions you have down in the comments. I'll also link my rig rundown for this system below for anybody that's interested in it. Um, and please like and subscribe.